Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna use the CM 800 C module and I'm gonna use the AT commands to write the code. Now let's start. Today I'm not going to explain about that two modules CM 800 C and CM 800 L. About the pins, wiring diagram, AT commands, and also how to assemble it. All of these things are in the part 1 video. You can click the link in the description below to find out all about that. Now let's write the code. Now I am including a library, software serial. Now I am creating an object, my serial. In the brackets, 2 comma 3 that means rx tx then i am writing void setup serial dot begin in the brackets 9600 then i am writing my serial dot begin in the brackets 9600 then i am writing serial dot print ln type s to send an sms r to receive an sms c to make a call then I am writing serial.print ln initializing. Now I am putting a delay for one second. Then I am writing my serial.print ln 80. Now I am not going to write in the void loop. Later, I am going to write in the void loop. Now, I am writing a function. Function name is read serial. Returning type is string. Now, I am putting a delay for 100 milliseconds. Now, I am writing a if condition. If the data is available in my serial, then I am returning my serial value. Now I am writing a function. The function name is call number. Then I am writing my serial dot print ln atd plus space plus my phone number. Then I am writing serial dot print ln. Then I am calling the function read serial. Then I am putting a delay for. 20 seconds Then I am writing my serial dot print ln ATH Then I am putting a delay for 200 milliseconds Then I am writing serial dot print ln then I am calling the function read serial Now I am writing a function. The function name is send message. Then I am writing my serial dot print ln at plus cmgf equal 1. Then I am writing serial dot print ln. Then I am calling the function read serial. Then I am writing my serial dot print ln at plus cmgs equals slash plus then my phone number. Then I am writing serial dot print ln. Then I am calling the function read serial. Then I am writing my serial dot print ln pi comma this is veron then i am writing my serial dot print ln char 26 then i am writing serial dot print ln then i am calling the function read serial now I am writing function 
the function name is receive message. Now I am writing serial.println sim800l read an sms. Now I am writing my serial.println at plus cmg f equal 1. Then I am writing serial.println then I am calling the function read serial. Then I am writing my serial dot print ln at plus cnmi equal 1 comma 2 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0. Then I am writing serial dot print ln then I am calling the function read serial. Now I am writing a if condition in the void loop. If the data is available in serial, then I am writing a switch statement. The input value is serial dot read. If the serial value is equal to s, then I am calling the send message function. Then I am putting break. If the serial value is equal to r, then I am calling the receive message function. Then I am putting break. If the serial value is equal to C, then I am calling the function call number. Then put in a break. Then I am writing a if condition. If the data is available in my serial, then I am putting a delay for one second. Then I am writing serial dot print ln my serial dot read string. Now I'm gonna verify the code. Then I'm gonna upload the code. The code is uploading, uploading done, no errors, now I am opening the serial monitor. Now I am typing S and enter it. Then you can see the message in my mobile phone. Now you can see the message. Hi, this is Veron. Then again I typed S and enter it. Now you can see the message again. Hi, this is Veron. Then I typing R and enter it. Then I am typing a message from my mobile phone. Hello Arduino. Now you can see in my serial monitor. Hello Arduino. Now I am typing another message, hi. Now you can see in my serial monitor, hi. Now I am typing C, then enter it. Then I am calling to my mobile phone. See? It will hang up in 20 seconds.
that's all for today i hope you learned something from this video if you like this video please support my channel it really really does help give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this thanks so much for watching